Okay, so the channel has hit yet another milestone. We've reached 1,070 subscribers overnight. Thank you very much for all the support in recent uh, weeks. Uh, the growth has been fantastic. It seems like yesterday I did the 1,050 subscriber video. Uh, that was only about you know, a month and a half ago. So yes, the growth of the channel has been fantastic in recent weeks. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, I am aware that the bell notification icon still has issues. I am aware some subscribers do click that on. I'm also aware that of course with subscribers all over the world not just in the UK where I'm based now the bell notification icon if I'm doing content uh, over in the UK and on an afternoon or an evening it will be the middle of the night in Australia so I am very aware that not every subscriber puts that notification icon on I, you know, I understand that but yes we've hit 1070 subscribers um, you know when I hit a thousand subscribers you know I wasn't aware it was gonna take you know be this quick to, to hit that you know this stage of growth so it's been a fantastic level of growth um, in recent weeks, um, the channel has really grown this year, very you know, really, really well. And of course, we are that one step closer to the next uh, forfeit. And for newer viewers, when I uh, hit the thousand subscriber uh, level, I shaved all my hair off. When we hit the two thousand subscriber level, uh, I have to wear a Burnley shirt for the day. And for those newer subscribers, I'm a Blackburn Rovers fan. And for those who, those who don't follow English football, that's one of the oldest rivalries in the game. Obviously, Burnley are now going to be a Premier League club next season. Blackburn will remain in the Championship, which is frustrating. So we don't get to play each other regularly for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so there's that. There's a lot of sport to look forward to. Obviously, it's the final day of the Premier League and we figure out who's getting relegated out of uh, Everton, Leeds and Leicester. That's, that's going to be a, a really interesting final day. All games kick off at the same time. If Leicester win um, uh, and uh, Everton lose, uh, Leeds have to get a win. Uh, Leeds can't even afford a draw. So Leeds have to win, Leicester have to win, Everton have to get a point. Um because goal difference is going to prove so crucial, it could, you know, decide the fate of all three clubs. Everton have and Leeds have terrible goal differences. Leicester's is better, which goes in their favour should they, you know, get that win. Um, uh, because if Everton lose, their goal difference is atrocious. Or if, you know, so that that's going to be down to the wire. Obviously, Luton Town yesterday got promotion to the Premier League, first time back in the flight top flight since the 91-92 season, so 31 years. They missed out in the Premier League by a season uh, when it was formed. In the last 15 years, they've gone from non-league to Premier League. So that's a fantastic story. So the Wrexham story, there's hope there for Wrexham, if they can do Luton's example. Uh, and so, yeah, there's a lot to discuss. We've all got a lot of major sporting events coming up that are of, of great interest and discussion. And so, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can hit that 2,000 subscriber um, milestone sooner rather than later. Uh, the growth of the channel has been fantastic, as I say. And I'm fully aware that a lot of new subscribers in recent months are from Australia and New Zealand and the Republic of Ireland has driven subscriber growth. Uh, so, you know, why diverse um, viewership, I think, is a good way of looking at it. And yeah, thank you very much for all your support. Uh, and I'll have some more content for you uh, later today. Thank you very much from me and I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.